For now, writing this sort of feels like a message in a bottle. I diligently compose my words to the best of my ability and tightly pack them into the bottle. Then, I stand on the shore and fling the bottle with all I have into the ocean and watch it disappear beneath the waves. Should I write at all? With the imposing blank page in front of me, I'm always first confronted with this question. I'm reminded of all those who have written before me and all those who are currently writing. I wonder if the words I string together for you now are worth marking the page with at all. It is said that a thousand monkeys with a thousand typewriters will eventually mash out all the great works of Shakespeare. But I'm only one monkey, and I only have one typewriter. These words I speak for you now were written for me. Anything you might interpret as advice is advice I give myself. I can't tell me things that I don't already know, but all the same, some things you need to hear twice. What calls to me? What do I hear from when I listen to the void? The great expanse just over the walls of my conscious mind. Sometimes it whispers sweet melodies to me, and I smile and drink them in. Other times it grinds nails on chalkboard and curses me with despair. They say if you stare long enough into the void, it stares back, drawing you in until you walk clear off the edge of yourself and plummet into its strange depths. Writing now, I sit on its edge with my feet dangling. Blackness below moves and undulates like water as my feet sway in its strange texture. Sitting here I listen. I want to hear, and it wants to talk. Ideas flow between us and pass just like a conversation we have, never truly finding its end. What they say is true. The void calls, it subtly hints, and sometimes loudly demands that you let loose your grip and step off that edge. What part of this is me, and what part is an entirely new place for being? I feel myself looking down into its vastness, but it reflects my own face in its deep pools from time to time. Is that it? Is this merely a reflection, or am I there in that pool, looking up? I let my feet dangle lower and splash on its surface. The lines between us blur, the deeper I hang my feet, and the closer to its edge that I sit. What you might find here, I'm not sure. There are no limits I give myself, nor direction I intend to follow. You come to listen, and I to write. With no one else around to hear it, the tree still crashes to the forest floor of my mind, and I notate its thud, as I always have.